Hello everybody and welcome back. It is your friendly neighborhood gamer Charles Rowe and today we are playing some more Fishing Planet. We are going to be going after the Mudwater Monster. We have to equip the Dendro Spoon, but in order to do that we actually have to figure out how much it weighs. So the Mudwater Dendro Fin Monster, it appears to be a, uh, a Bowfin variant, so I'm going to assume that this monster eats only in the middle of the day and eats at night for one hour only. So we're going to go over here to our lightweight rig and equip our dendro spoon as you can see right there. Oh, nope, okay. Oh, there's just no happy medium, is there? There we go. Okay, so now we're going to come over here. And it says... Oh, oh we got to track it first. You did a great job fishing out that old tree bark, and now you've got yourself a special wooden dendro spoon that you can use for catching the monstrous dendro fin. But don't underestimate this monster's strength based on its vegan lifestyle. The dendro fin is one powerful beast, about 13 pounds, that will stir up quite a, or quite a fight. This monster eats only in the middle of the day and at night for only one hour. So what we need to do is actually we got to uh so if it's 13 pounds we should probably what is that braid 003 That is 13 pound test line. Yeah, so we're right at where we need to be. We're throwing the half ounce spoon, but our rod, it's too light for our rod. So we're gonna go and we're gonna fish right here at Catfish Heaven. That seems to be the best luck as far as um, bowfin. So let's get on over there with our dendro spoon and hopefully before too much longer, we can actually catch the dendrofin monster. If not, it's probably going to end up being like the Mad Eye Buffalo video, and we just, you know, aren't able to catch him and struggle. And then we're going to have to do some research and look up stuff. And yeah, it's it's only in the middle of the day, so we're going to be fishing for quite some time. Okay, so max out. So even if we don't max out, we're, we'll still be pretty good. So we're going to throw this on out here. Uh, back that drag off just a little bit. A real speed of one. And then we will see what we catch. Oh, and we got something here. It's probably just a bass. Or it could be a chain pickerel. That that works too. It's only in the middle of the day and at night for one hour. So let's go to 11 and see if that does anything let's check our bite times so it appears 12 12 to 1 I'm guessing is probably going to be the ideal bite times so let's actually give this little theory a test here let it sink down 
Because I've noticed that most bowfin tend to chill on the bottom. We're going to take quite a few casts here. We actually might just have to premium account two minutes. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fast forward an hour and hopefully we get this guy soon because it's only an hour out of the day so now we just reel in it's, it says he only bites for an hour in the middle of the day 12 is the middle of the day so hopefully we can actually get this guy. I'm going to do about half. Half the drag strength. Oh, something hit it right there. Got a little twitchy. So it's a vegetarian. Oh, we caught ourselves a, a piece of lily. All right. Don't hit the bank. All right. Cool. Right on the edge of the bank. And now we just bring it all up in here. Welcome to the live stream, everybody. I'm glad you could join us. Make sure you... Go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you take off if you do and slap a like on this video. I wonder. Well, that was something. That was definitely something. wonder if we try because it's supposed to be a vegetarian monster so I wonder if we try casting downstream along the reeds like this kinda I wonder if that'll do anything We'll probably catch a lot more reeds than anything, but, you know, here's to hoping. Oh, we got something here. It's probably just a pickerel. Or bluegill. Yep, it's a chain pickerel. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, we're going to uh, give it one more try here, and then we're going to go and fish the other side.
Hmm. Oh, right there, right at the freaking bank, man. All right, so now we're gonna go and try this side over here because it's a vegetarian. So I wonder if it's hiding like in the reeds and stuff. Or, you know, we did have to catch bark to catch this one, so I wonder if it's by where we caught the bark. Maybe. That would be pretty convenient, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> There's something swapped at it. Oh, and we got one. We got ourselves a uh, little largemouth bass. All right. Well, let's uh, give it one more cast here. And if we catch something that's, you know, not what we want, then we'll go and do something else somewhere else. We'll go do a, a different thing. Hello, Mason Bowman. Welcome to the live stream, buddy. We are... Ooh, something swiped at it. Ooh, something hit it. <laughs> oh, there goes something again. Hmm. We are going for the Mudwater Dendrofin using the uh, the Dendro Spoon. Uh, so we're going to go try over where we caught all of the bark. Yes, Lola King, I do know it is Friday. Okay, so we're going to try. Let's try backing up here. There we go. So we're gonna we're gonna do a cast right out there, and we're gonna bring it in nice and slow off of the bottom. Why why would what what does it being Friday have to like I'm confused why why does Friday matter right now? Oh okay, what's up, Death? Yeah, it, I, I don't know why, why Friday, I don't know what's going on, like, why does it need to be, or why is Friday important? I'm thoroughly confused. Oh, something tried swiping at it. Oh. Oh, oh, and he missed it, and he missed it again. Uh, that's just a general, general message. I go back and I change it for most of the videos. I post every day, but uh, except for Sundays. And then uh, I just go back and change the descriptions. Oh, we got something here. Only half an hour in and we might have something. It's seeming like it's a pickerel because it's not fighting too terribly hard. Yep, there it is. Another pickerel. Okay. <gasps> okay, so we're going to cast right there. Alrighty. Let it sink. Um, so they've made all of the Halloween monsters able to be caught 
uh, anytime now rather than just during Halloweens. And there's, you can do bottom fishing, such as like uh, for carp using spoons, or not spoons, the, uh, the bottom baits. There's feeder rods, spod rods. Uh, there's the bottom rods for the bottom fishing. There's rod stands. Um, there are now aluminum boats. I don't know if you were there for that last update. There are bass boats. And there are rubber inflatable boats. You can buy all of those. As well as a plethora of new types of plastics, new types of baits. Um, there's new, there's, there's still the, the mono, the fluoro, and the braided, but there's new weights to them, new diameters, and there are new hooks, there's new weights in general, there's new types of weights. Um, let's see, as far as I can think of, that is all. That is all I can think of as far as what's new, Mason. Oh, we got something on here. It's probably just another pike. Yep. Alrighty, well, we didn't get the pike on that one, but we're going to throw back out on the other side of it and see if we can't catch it. Um, I don't know if you were here for that update, but they did add Europe onto the map. I don't know if you know about that one, but they are adding fish to the European side and they're adding new fish a couple of new fish to some of the um a branch thank you thank you to some of the American lakes I would lowly, but I am in the middle of a stream right now. Oh, he had it too, man. He freaking had it. Oh, we got him. <laughs> right at the bank. It's not the dendro fin, but... Well... Let's, uh... We might have to switch to the other side again. And go from there. Because that's where we were catching all the bark. Oh, there's another pike. Or a bass, one of the two. Yup. So it's it's looking like this is going to have to be another mud water or not mud water, Lone Star Lake fishing video, or at least something similar to it, because we're not catching this uh this dendro fin here. Oh, we got something a little heavier here. What could that be? Us. Okay. 
Well, we're going to have to come on over to this side over here and see what is going on. That is a long freaking pull, my dude. Goodness. Okay, so we're going to throw right there. And we are going to bring it in on the bottom. Hopefully we get the dendro fin. If not, then, well, we're going to have to go to the night time. Oh, uh, no, and it got too late. All up in my business. Okay, so, and it said it only feeds at night. So let's, let's go to the mission here. 13 pounds. That will stir up quite a fight. This monster eats only in the middle of the day and at night for one hour only. Okay. So let's see. Let's see where it is at night. Yeah, it is. And I'm pretty sure I've already made my money back. Yeah, I've already made the money back because it's only 1200 to get here. And with the amount of uh, pike that I've caught and... Oh, there's a trophy grass right there. It's still no trophy chains. Wow. That's crazy. So... At night for one hour so we might just have to fish the whole night time in order to actually get the whole thing so we're gonna throw it right out there and let it sink to the bottom and hopefully hopefully we catch something because it's supposed to be like a bowfin but it's vegetarian and this is where all the pike hang out so I'm wondering because all the bowfin, they hang out in that lily pad thing in the middle. So, I'm wondering. Hmm. Maybe my line is too heavy. <laughs> uh, definitely the Everglades. The best money grinding location is probably got to be the Everglades because it's it's only I think twenty eight to get there. I think, but if you've got a really big bag, you can catch all of the bass that you will ever need, and then you can. Uh, make all your money back and then some you gotta have a bag that holds at least 150 pounds to make your money back there though otherwise you're just gonna be grinding although you do level up there a lot and then uh, Emerald Lake if you're looking for experience and some money Emerald Lake at night for walleye that's a good one as well and then Um, what is that? White Moose, White Moose Lake, up in Michigan. Yeah. The Everglades is a good place to make money. That's where I've made all of my money. All 60-something thousand. I had, like... Almost, 
like 120000 but I spent it all trying to get new rigs and stuff, so. We might have to uh, end this video, unfortunately, without catching the dendrofin, because it's getting close to the time limit. Okay, so well that pan didn't or that that spot didn't pan out. I'm trying to get a boat. Uh a boat would be nice. It'd be especially up in uh like White Moose or uh I don't know well I don't really feel like a boat would be practical in Emerald Lake more than a kayak. Cuz kayak kayak you can go everywhere you need to in a kayak. So Although you, it would be nice to have, you know, all the different types of boat. You gotta have the bass boat, the John boat, and then the kayak. But at the same time, it's you gotta look at it as far as practicality, based on the body of water you're trying to fish. So, oh, there, there was something. He tried. He tried. Oh, wow, it just drops off right there. You can see the edge of the drop-off all right here. And it just is, it goes, and it's gone. So we... Uh, one second here. So... Alrighty, so mm, I have a kayak, but I'm trying to get the metal boat so I can troll fish. That is a good point. You can troll with the John boat. I don't know if you can troll with the bass boat, though. Although, that metal boat would probably be more than ideal for anything that you ever would need, honestly. And especially drag off, just a little bit. We might have to end the video, folks, unfortunately, without catching the dendrofin monster. I'm going to do some research on it and figure out where the best place is to catch the dendrofin so I can then pass that information along to all of you and go from there. I'm still working on the Lone Star Lake Mad Eye Buffalo, and that is not panning out uh, as I had hoped. We will be, oh, that was a really far freaking cast, oh my goodness. We will be uh, fishing these parts throughout the week and throughout the weekend. So if you don't catch, see us catching the fish in this video, keep your eyes out for a video clip of us catching it and fighting it in the next video. And we will be able to kind of, uh, post that to YouTube, but it's just going to be a 15 minute video, unfortunately. Uh, I will look into the settings because somebody told me that you could uh, do up to like an hour or something, so I will look into the settings and see what is that guy doing over there? He's just, he's the flash. He's, he's, he's flashing everywhere. He's, he's fast fishing right there. But I will look into the settings and see just how you can make it a longer clip time. This has been quite the experience for sure. I'm going to need to look up the times and whatnot. 
on where we can actually fish for the dendrofin. Had to kind of process what I was trying to say. But, oh, that is the time to end the stream. So, that is unfortunate, everybody. This will be the last task. If you haven't already, go ahead and slap that subscribe button and slap a like on this video so that you can catch all of our videos with the subscribe button. And then go ahead and share this video if you could. That would be most helpful. And then we will be ba 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 we will be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. with another video. Can't promise it will be Fishing Planet, but it will be another video of some kind. So this has been your friendly neighborhood gamer fishing for the Dendrofin Monster. Thank you for watching. See you next time.